Now, looking back at the Skywalker saga, I think it's pretty safe to say that by far, the true face of the Star Wars franchise has got to be Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. So, as of right now, reshoots are still taking place for Episode 9. I know that a lot of people are very concerned about that, on whether or not that's going to be a good or a bad thing for the Star Wars franchise, specifically with the Rise of Skywalker and how it's going to be executed on the big screen. You know, it is a little strange, I will admit, that we are still doing reshoots, you know, during this month of October, you know, just a little over two months away from the official release of this movie, and of course, before the final trailer, just before the final trailer of Episode Episode 9. So, with that being said, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very intense for the character of Anakin Skywalker. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that shot descriptions consisting of a sequence where it's explained that Rey is said to be traveling to a place called the Lost City, where Rey is in search of ancient Jedi and Sith lore, where eventually Rey is said to make her way to the Jedi ruins into the prime. Jedi Temple. This is where Rey begins to hear the Force Ghost voices of Yoda, Anakin, Kenobi, and Luke guiding her through these actual ancient Jedi temples and ruins, where eventually Rey is said to find her way to the Lake of Dreams. It's explained that as she meditates there, she begins to connect with Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost, where it's said that Anakin begins to reveal a vital secret to Rey about one of the forbidden Force powers that Anakin utilized during his time in another world of the Force was to gain the ability to manipulate the power of the Force Nexus areas throughout the entire galaxy that were created by the Wills, who are godlike beings, and that this was said to have been a forbidden Force power to use in the Netherworld that Anakin was able to establish in order to help Force sensitives who travel to these locations in great need of help to collect their thoughts and to find themselves. It said that Anakin, during his time in the Netherworld, also was able to allow Luke to learn the Force projection technique as seen in The Last Jedi, which was a power discovered in the Netherworld by Anakin passed down to his son from, of course, the Netherworld, where the transfer of this power is said to be a power in itself and allowed Anakin to give Luke a new power, even though Anakin was in a different realm. Now, this was said to be another forbidden force power in the Journal of the Wills of a force ghost being able to pass on a power from the afterlife to a mortal. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the thing about the forbidden force powers that are going to be established in the Journal of the Wills, very interesting stuff, I must add. In case you guys did not know, we got a little glimpse of the Journal of the Wills in The Last Jedi. At least one of those books are the Journal of the Wills. It's most likely the one that Luke rests his hand on top of with the Jedi Order symbol, or it could be the other one right to the next of it. So with that being said, I wanna go over these two forbidden force powers of, of course, Anakin Skywalker that will be explained in Episode 9. Now, first things first, Anakin, his Force Ghost, during his time over in the Netherworld, having the ability to manipulate the Force Nexus areas throughout the entire galaxy. Now, in case you guys have no idea what a Force Nexus really is, it's basically either A, a person, place, or a thing that is a concentration of the Force. A prime example of what a Force Nexus really is, is of course the Dagobah Cave, which by the way gets destroyed in the new Snoke comic, where Snoke and Kylo Ren train there. But the Dagobah Cave is a Force Nexus in itself. It's a concentration of the Force. It's the main reason as to why Luke is able to fight Vader in a powerful vision and we're going to see more Force Nexus areas in The Rise of Skywalker, which I think is going to be very interesting. And the Lake of Dreams, by the way, is said to be by far one of the most powerful Force Nexus areas in, of course, the Outer Rim. Now, with that being said, Anakin Skywalker also using that Forbidden Force power to manipulate the Nexus areas in order to help Force-sensitive indivi individuals throughout the entire galaxy. The other Forbidden Force power of Anakin Skywalker was also the ability, the actual ability to transfer a, a power from the Netherworld over to a mortal on, of course, you know, in, in, of course, the living realm, right? Now, the fact that Anakin was able to teach Luke Skywalker and give him that power of force projection and how Luke was able to use that for a good reason really is a big deal and that was yet another forbidden force power in the Journal of the Wills. 
So Anakin Skywalker, you know, using these abilities, it just shows us how powerful he has become within the netherworld. Also, you guys may recall that in the Secrets of the Jedi book that's coming out in, I believe, December or November of this year, uh, in there, it's all Luke's point of view, everything about the Jedi, the Sith, Order 66, uh, you know, everything. It's all through Luke's point of view, and he even explains at one point in time that Anakin, you know, has trained him and has actually talked with him before the events of The Force Awakens. So, very interesting stuff, I must add, the fact that they really are trying to introduce, you know, new Force lore by doing it this way is very clever by Disney and Lucasfilm. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.